Hey Aqua buddies, what's up guys? How are your fish and fish tanks? Guys, you can see I have got the iridescent shark and this shark is not healthy and you can see its fins and its mouth is bleeding and this shark has got attacked by some cichlid fish because you can see I have got a community tank and I have got turtle and this cichlid in the big size so what happened to this iridescent shark and which fish attacked on it and how we are going to cure this shark and what i am gonna do next so we will know everything in this video guys so guys stay tuned and don't skip the video so let's move ahead so guys this community tank is about one year old and it never happened before that a fish got injured like this and especially the iridescent shark. I think that when the fish were moving it got injured by some gravel or stone and started bleeding and the other sickler got a chance to attack on the fish so they started attacking and injured more and more to this iridescent shark and they wanted to eat it so that's why she started bleeding and from the fins and from the mouth so this could be the reason but I actually don't know but that's what I have concluded from the situation. So guys in this video I am going to tell you that how we are going to treat and how we will save the fish. If we don't treat the fish it will get expired so we have to worry about and I am going to tell you that how you can save your injured fish. We need to separate the other fishes, especially the cichlids. So we are going to separate these cichlids first. And here we have got another tank. In this tank we are going to shift the cichlids so that we can treat the iridescent shark in this tank. And we have got three pieces of cichlids here. And we have to catch all these cichlids and the turtle as well. Now we have separated all the cichlids and we have only these two iridescent sharks and you can see the condition is not good. So here we have got the solution. This is the antibiotic medicine called amaxoclef and by this medicine we are going to treat the fish. Some people may use the malafix but I am not going to use that because in some cases it works and in some cases it doesn't work so here I show you here we have the tablet it is all 625 milligrams and the other thing we need to use here we have got the water and this is distilled water so now I am going to show you that how you have to use it we have converted into the powder so we have crushed the tablet into the powder form and now we are going to add the distilled water here so that we can mix the powder in that so here we have prepared it after mixing it into the distilled water and now we are going to add into the aquarium and here we go guys so what is the potency of the medicine guys we have added 625 milligram tablet and the volume of tank is 30 gallons so we have added one tablet and here you can see it is quite miserable condition of the shark and you can see the color is also getting pale and the fins and the mouth is also bleeding and 
guys next thing we need a heater if your water temperature is below the 26 degree centigrade then you need to add a heater right now my aquarium water has got 24 degree centigrade so i am going to set the temperature at 26 degree centigrade and add it into the tank so here we have done everything we have added a medicine and we have set the heater and we have got the power head filter as well we have separated the cichlids in this tank here you can see we have got all these cichlids here now we have to wait and we are going to turn off the light now lights are turned off and we are going to leave the fishes like this and we are not going to disturb these because the light may disturb them and i will update you after one week so guys it's been one week and here i show you the fishes can you identify which one was injured and sick and guys i think you cannot identify the bottom fish was sick and injured and now you can see she is almost recovered and swimming properly and there are no traces of the injury so it's all due to the treatment which we did last week and the fish is now swimming properly and eating the feed and now i show you the comparison so here you can see the comparison before and after pictures with the date and these are the real pictures which i took before and after in this picture you can clearly see that there were bloody fins and the color of fish was pale yellow around the head and after recovery the original color of the fish has got recovered and there are no sign of ink the mouth of the fish was also infected by the bacteria and there was blood around the mouth but now it is totally recovered from the bacteria due to the antibiotic medicine so guys this was my personal experience and this is how i saved my fish and you can try this method and i will recommend you guys and if you have any personal experience then you may share in the comment section okay guys thank you for watching bye bye